What's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm feeling so snazzy. I just uh, dermaplaned my face by myself. I've got some incredible face oil on right now. I did a, a soothing sheet mask afterwards. Afterwards. I don't like saying afterwards. I hate it when, when people say like across when it's across or um, height. Height when it's supposed to be height, so I felt like I did, well, whatever, let's not get into it. Um, so, hi mom, I wanted to do a video, I just found out that May is Mental Health Month, and I've got mentals, so I figured I'd come on here and talk about that, so that's why my face is so shiny, I have a beautiful skin oil on my face, I love it, and I'm just feeling really snazzy. Yeah, I shaved my own face. That video is in Simple Easy Beauty if you want to go check it out. You're going to have to join. So, anyhow. So, I just found out that May is Mental Health Month. And one of the reasons why I created Simple Easy Beauty, it was it's not just about makeup or just about skincare or just about anything like that. It's about uh, feeling beautiful. Just being and feeling beautiful from the core, from the inside out, in your mind, in your heart, your soul. And so, uh, there's a certain things that we discuss in there and certain things that I do every day to help myself feel better. And that means in my head, you know, I'm susceptible to depression. It does not happen a lot, but I have had a um, very close family member commit suicide. And so I understand when um, things just switch in your head that you've got to be pretty careful. Um, and I'm going to give some advice that I find really helps me and keeps me on a level kind of thing. I am I have bad days. I have bad moments more than bad days. Uh, you could, my mom's on here. You could, you could ask her. I could be super freaking awesome. Everything's going great and something will happen and I'll snap in half and become a volcano and then it'll be over and then I'm back to myself. And that might sound very bipolar. It's not... I've seen bipolar, that's not it. <laughs> I don't have massive, you know, um, what, what, the, the internet's being wonky. I'm hoping that everything's okay. The, the, let me continue. The more I find that I pay attention to uh, what I'm doing and what I am uh, being around, that it helps me to be more regular and more happy and less depressed or less sad and... So, with that being said, let me go ahead and get right into what it is I, I do. Hi, Judy. Um, I, the number one thing, and you, the number one thing, I'm doing a video, Stella. Did you get your knots out? Okay, I'll come back with the brush and help you. There is so much. I know, it's hard. The number one thing that I, I have to say is absolutely the 100% the number one thing is you've got to make your personal happiness your absolute 100% priority. And that could be very extreme and you could go through some very extreme things because of it. You want to think things out, of course. You want to weigh your pros and cons, of course. I'm a Libra. I'm always putting things on scales and trying to figure it out. What's up, Fernand? How are you? Hot stuff. How's Miami? I miss Florida. Oh, I think I need to take this off. I feel like my head was about to pop off just then. But the number one thing you've got to do is happiness. You've got to look out for your happiness. Sometimes that'll hurt people's feelings. Sometimes that'll mean that you're going without some money for a while because maybe your job is killing you. Uh, maybe it's uh, trying to readjust who you're going to hang out with and who you're going to talk to because maybe you're just not happy with the people that you've been surrounding yourself with. These things are something, hey, Pat, what's going on? How's Arizona doing? Um, being happy is the number one priority. And when you start putting that as your number one thing, it's going to get easier. However, some of that putting yourself first and being happy before anything else, it, you're going to have some growing pains there. Trust me, you might even go through some hard times because of it. But that's the dark work that I think we need to do sometimes in order to find a pleasant, peaceful state of mind as your consistent thing. Make sure you're doing what makes you happy. Another thing is, is you need to find out what you believe your truth is. Now, the reason why I say what you believe your truth is, 
because I believe my truths are facts and I know there may be somebody out there that's watching this video right now that has a completely different belief system and they believe their truths are facts. So understanding that is really important, but you need to step into your own truth and you need to stand by it. That doesn't mean that you've got to, uh, you know, stuff your truth down other people's throats, especially in today's climate of politics, okay? I have big opinions and I don't share them as much on Facebook as you would normally, you know, if you knew me a few years ago, I had no problem sharing my opinions. Um, so I'm not always trying to stuff it down somebody's throat. There's a couple people that I talk to that I'm very open with about that. And then there's people that I have in my life that are close to me, that are actually friends of me, that I actually hang out with, that that think that the way I think is practically criminal. Like, they, they think I'm horrible. So we don't talk about that, you know? So shiny, right? You want to kiss me? It's just shiny. She doesn't want to kiss me. So... Being okay with your truth and knowing not everybody is mature enough to handle your truth, uh, it's, it's a good idea. You don't need to be involved with all sorts of discussions and rhetoric and back and forth and political discourse or, or spiritual discourse. You don't need to do that in order to really truly believe who you are. Okay? So when you start accepting your belief system... And you've already probably done enough questioning of your belief system. Be okay with that. And be okay with when you change your mind about something. I am. Um, it's amazing who I've been before and who I am now. And I couldn't be who I am now if I wasn't who I was before. So I think that that relates to that, especially in today's political climate. I've got great hope for the future. And some people out there just think the world's falling apart. And it's getting better every day. So, that's a super major thing. So number one is be happy first. Number two is understand that what you believe to be true for your truths are yours. And you don't have to get into a debate. You don't have to prove it to anybody. You just be what you be, what you believe, okay? And avoid, and I hate to say this because some people might be like, ah, but I don't want to be avoiding confrontation. Avoid confrontation with people that are not able to have the discussion with you, okay? Hey, Sue, if they can't have the discussion with you because they believe what their truth is true, then that's, you don't have to not be friends, you don't have to not love each other, but you do have to not get into that heated thing, okay? So, number one, be happy. Number two, your truth is yours. And number three, don't engage in arguments with people that aren't prepared to handle your truth, okay? Then we get into some other stuff. What about how else can we help our mental health be more happy and peaceful? That's what I want. I want a peaceful mental health. I don't want to be in turmoil all the time. And that is the, the, the next thing that I want to talk about is when you come into a problem, I want you to start handling that problem. Just do it. It's going to be awful and uncomfortable, but it's going to be a lot better handling it now then it's going to be handling it after you've let it build up and build up and build up and build up. So deal with your problems as they happen. Stop procrastinating on your own happiness because the longer you wait to be happy, the harder it's going to be to be happy. Just ask my dad. Oh, wait, you can't ask my dad. You can't because he didn't. Okay? I wish I could tell him this but I can't. The next thing that I want to talk about is what we do outside of our body or outside of our mind that affects our mental well-being. And that is the food we eat, how much water we drink, how much fresh air we get. Now, I've been hungry in my life. I don't know about you. You probably have had moments of your life where you're hungry, like food, like you need food. You will find that you will get angry and depressed way faster when you need to eat. Do you ever hear the word hangry? Well, try and do that for an extended period of time. Without your control. I'm not talking about somebody that's going on a three-day fast or a 30-day fast or a juice fast or um, a full-blown fast or a master cleanse. I'm not talking about that. That is something that when you do it, that might be something, you know, fasting is amazing for your brain. 
because you have to kind of work it out and struggle through some of the things that you feel. But if you're hungry and you're not wanting to be hungry, if you're hungry and that's not what's up and it's because you're not food's not available to you, you will get depressed and that's important that you eat. Now, secondly, it's not only about what you eat. First thing you got to worry about is make sure you're fed so you don't die or get depressed. Number two, you want to try and have food that's going to support proper mental health. You want to have fresh vegetables that are not genetically modified. You want to try to eat meat that is um, raised ethically the best you can, the best you can. I'm not saying that, you know, not everybody can go and buy grass-fed, free-range beef. Okay, that's expensive. But if you can, you should. And if you can't, then you should try to find a way that you can. If that means raising your own meat or not. Um... You want your food to be happy while it's growing and not stressed out while it's growing and not stressed out while it's being processed because I don't care if it's a piece of lettuce or a cheeseburger if that plant or animal went through excessive stress during the processing process, it affects how you feel. There's no way around it. It's a transfer of like the, the consciousness of the world. I really truly believe that. That's why... Some people are vegetarians because they think that because meat is processed by using, you know, you kill it. You know, plants feel too and they communicate. So if you're eating vegetables just for the sake of eating vegetables, just to save an animal, but yet you're still eating vegetables that are being factory raised and like the big corn fields, they've proven that corn that grows in big fields is not as happy as corn that grows properly placed in the garden. Try to eat permaculture food, guys. Try to eat food that's raised right, and that's what it is. You can't think of the name of what? Let me know. Say what you're saying. So eating the best food that you can is second most important to eating food. Okay? Period. So you want your food to be as non-toxic as possible. You need to drink water. You need to drink water every day. It's very difficult to have any negative effects of water drinking. It's very hard to get drunk on water. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, the, what we do is half our body weight plus 10 ounces a day. Try to drink the best water you can. If you've got a, bur a Berkey, awesome. If you don't and you've got to drink tap water, do your best to, to clarify any kind of fluoride or anything. You don't want fluoride that, that calcifies your pituitary gland and that will cause depression and not help you with your mental state. So you want to drink water. You want to enjoy things that you want to enjoy when you want to enjoy them, but don't let it take over. Stay away from sugar. Sugar is like crack. It will spike your whole mood up and it will crash you down. And if you've ever smoked crack, you know that as soon as it's over, you just want to die. Okay? That's why it's dangerous. You might want to stay away from... If you are extremely sensitive to alcohol, like drinking, don't. Um, if you find yourself drinking too much and you notice like when you wake up in the morning you're not feeling so good, you're like not necessarily hungover, but you're just kind of sad, you might want to just avoid some drinks because that could be what's doing it, okay? It's a depressant. You want to be very careful, very careful with that. I'm a drinker. I drink and I pay attention when my mood is going sideways because I know I overindulge. I correct it, okay? So not everybody can do that. Some people cannot do that. Some people absolutely cannot drink at all. And if that's you, it's time to go do the hard work and get that right. So let's go over what I just talked about. Number one, your happiness is the first and most important thing. Number two, owning and knowing your truth and not engaging with people that don't believe in what you believe in or whatever in a argumentative way. Just understand people are different and it's okay. It's part of the joy of being human, okay? Um, make sure that you're dealing with your problems when they happen. Don't wait, don't procrastinate on your happiness. Just in, deal with them, they're gonna be hard, it's gonna be painful, it's okay. You're a survivor, you got this. And then when we talk about what we're adding to our body, try to eat the most ethically raised food, whether it's vegetables or meat. If you don't wanna eat meat, you don't have to. If it makes you upset to eat meat, don't eat meat, but I'm telling you that there's there's properties of meat that help your mental health. That That's the difference. That's what made us human 
and built these phones and these computers and all this crazy stuff that we've all these comforts because we added meat to our diet because we had good fats added to our brain. We could be a gorilla and eat a bunch of berries and okay, we could. Or we could be human and the, what changed us is really good fats and meat and amino acids and that comes from meat. So boom. That's my little rant on food. Um, if well, You have to be sure that you feel good about what it is you're doing, okay? If it makes you feel good to sit down to chocolate cake, then by all means, once in a while, sit down to chocolate cake. But I want you to be aware of how that makes you feel after. Just like with alcohol, you might feel real good to have a couple of drinks. And then next thing you know, that couple of drinks turns into a day off of work that you didn't want to do and feeling guilty because somebody else had to take care of that. I did that, uh, I guess... Uh, Two weeks ago, I had some wine. I was so happy I had wine, and I could not go to work the next day, and my friend Jackie had to cover my butt. That's not cool. Did I beat myself up about it? No, but I was more aware about what it is I just did so that I could be more conscientious. Hi, Dawn. I was just talking about food. You introduced me to this, the healthy fats. <laughs> You did. Oh my God. I, can't, I don't even know how long we've been friends on Facebook, but I just totally appreciate it. I love you so much. So she's got one amazing story and whoa, <laughs> Dawn Matoy rocks. So that's the other thing. Make sure that what you're eating, you feel good about and you're doing the best you can to eat the best you can. Okay. Sometimes it may be Raymond noodles and that's what's up. Don't beat yourself up about it, but do your best to improve that situation. That means maybe you need to, Dawn just did this herself, open her own new business and start sharing her love and her, her awesome sauce with people, and she's doing good. You know, so if, if Dawn couldn't afford to eat well two months ago, she's able to get a grass-fed uh, ribeye now. You know what I'm saying? So... Do your best to make sure that you are doing everything. You're being proactive in your life to do the very best that you can. Deal with your problems. Know your own truth isn't going to be everyone else's and stop arguing with people about it. And if people want to argue with you, just... And make your happiness a priority. So that's what's up. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it very, very much. You know, if you want to join Simple Easy Beauty, join it because this is the kind of stuff that I want to talk about in there more because beauty comes from the inside out. It comes from how you feel in your head and your heart and your soul. And then everything else is just playing with it. We're just playing, kind of like Abraham Hicks just says, play with it. And that's what I'm doing in there and we're having a good time. So go ahead, request to join. Answer the three questions. I'll see you in there. We've got a big giveaway coming up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this to YouTube as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, very important. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because I have a small channel and it really, really helps a lot if somebody hits the bell notification. I thank you so much. Love you long time. Peace.